What is the best antivirus software for Windows XP? One of these is better than the others, and you may be using the wrong one. First, let's take a look at Microsoft Security Essentials. Microsoft Security Essentials no longer receives definition updates. Microsoft discontinued the service along with their support for Windows XP. For our purposes, Security Essentials is just not a viable option. Next up, we have Kaspersky. Being a 30-day trial, while it is technically free antivirus for Windows XP, it won't protect our system long term. We can safely eliminate Kaspersky as an option. Now let's take a look at Avira. Unfortunately, it's not possible to update the virus definitions on this version of Avira for Windows XP. I think we can do better. Let's try installing AVG. My experience with AVG is you have to set an exclusion for the software you want to use, which is technically more secure, but a burden having to set so many exclusions. But I'm skeptical there's a better option for Windows XP. So it's time to put AVG to the test. From here, we can download the iCar antivirus test file. This file is simply a string of text that should trigger antivirus software to flag it as a threat. AVG does not disappoint. Now let's test AVG's ability to detect potentially unwanted applications. This dialog box indicates that AVG did not block downloading the file, or otherwise warn us that the download was a potentially unwanted program. Let's try drive-by downloads. My pal blocked downloading the file, so I can't say that AVG is working in this case. Now for phishing pages. Unfortunately, AVG is not protecting us on this front. All in all, AVG works well enough, especially considering it's free antivirus for Windows XP, which hasn't had official support from Microsoft since 2014. Next up, we have Avast. Notice down here at the bottom of the installer, there is an option for installing the Google toolbar, and the box is already checked. I'm not a big fan of bundling software like that, so let's uncheck that box. That splash screen looks oddly familiar. Is that the same as AVG's? Yes, yes it is, because AVG Technologies is a subsidiary of Avast. Notice that a majority of these features have an orange lock symbol in the upper right corner of the tile. This indicates the feature can only be accessed with a premium subscription. This component here for updating drivers does not have a lock symbol on it, but it is behind a paywall. On the landing page when we open Avast is a component called SmartScan. Let's run it and see what happens. Of course, repairing the issues it finds is also behind a paywall. We know that Avast and AVG are similar, so as you may imagine, their test results are also similar. So what's the verdict? The best free antivirus software for Windows XP is PandaDome, because it doesn't hide a bunch of features behind a paywall, and it can actually detect a potentially unwanted program.